I think when it comes to the hip hop culture, the problem that we end up having is that too many times, I think, like I said, I was saying the reason people like the hip hop and all the uh, violence and the killing and all that kind of stuff that we hear in hip hop, the reason people tend to gravitate towards it, because I think a lot of us in our lives feel weak. A lot of us in our lives feel like we're not special because a lot of us are average, including myself. We don't make a lot of money. We don't have all the girls. We don't have a whole lot going on for us. So when we hear this rap music talk about, um, I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to slap you, I'm going to hurt you, I'm going to beat you down, I'm going to walk you down, it gives us some kind of sense of power for just a few seconds because we know when we go to school or when we go to our job, that ain't happening. Somebody can say something slick to us and we just got to take it. You know what I mean? And so I feel like hip-hop sometimes gives you that voice that you feel like you don't have the problem is is when it does translate to real life which is what we see in the hood is what we see in uh more poverty more hood and it's not just black kids i'm talking about white kids black kids hispanic kids because a lot of people listen to hip-hop of different races so when you get into the more poverty um the yeah, when we get in places that are more impoverished, you know, there are more people who are in poverty, living down on their life. They feel even more weak. So, of course, shooting and killing somebody or something like that may give you some sense of power. If you want to go gang bang or you want to join that group at your school or you want to do this or you want to do that. Even the guys who are football players, even the guys who are athletes and stuff like that, they fall into the same traps. as We saw what happened with John Morant. Even with money and all that, if you don't feel like you're that dude, you don't feel that powerful, um, you're going to end up going into this life and thinking you need to tote a gun or you feel like you need to um, you need to go beat somebody up or you need to um, cuss somebody out on a keyboard or behind a chat or troll people. It makes you feel more powerful because in your real life, you're so weak and you're, you're so nobody. I'm going to tell you all a quick story while I got you all here. When I was young growing up, I a black kid in an all-white school, right? There was a lot of times I felt weak. Because I got called the N-word and I just had to take it. Now, I'm not saying everybody called me the N-word. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the few people that did were the people I thought that were my friends. But, I mean, what was that to do? It was either have them as friends or have nobody as friends. Now, I did have a friend who never called me that ever again. He called me at one time and he felt awful. And it's to this day, you know, we talk every now and then. Nothing too crazy. He's doing his own thing. I'm doing my own thing. But... <sighs> You know, it, it was hard hearing that every single day, and I felt really alone. So this hip-hop music would allow me to branch out. In fact, I listened to a lot of hip-hop and a lot of screamo music, believe it or not. I listened to a lot of heavy metal. And uh, the reason I listened to that, because it made me be able to shout, be able to scream. And when I used to hit, listen to rap, and I used to I used to listen to a lot of Bone Thugs and Harmony, and uh, I used to love the, that, that real gangster rap because... It just made me feel like for one second I was special. It was maybe for one second that nobody could f with me, um, and but I knew it wasn't true. When I went back to school, it was people picked on me, people um, bullied me, um, people used to make fun of the way I talked. I remember I had this band teacher. Like any time I tried to speak, um, he would go out of his way to say that I mumbled. He would never do this to any other person. Now, I don't know if it was, I don't think it's because I was black, I think, because I grew up at that school. I just think he found somebody to pick on, and I happened to be one of them. He picked on other people, too, but um, I just remember him picking on me because it's my life. And every time I spoke, he would be like, mm-hmm. he would literally do this. He'd be like, mm-hmm. 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 and I'd be like, and I would really be like, man, I'm not mumbling. Um, maybe I did mumble. Maybe I did. Um, but I don't think an adult should be doing that to a child. You got to remember, we're kids. I'm, I'm 13 in high school, okay? I'm 13 in high school. I graduated early for my age. I didn't graduate like literally a grade early, but I was young when I graduated. But it was just like, that's that's the kind of stuff that I just felt so powerless against. And then I would have people, anytime I tried to sound smart, even when I wasn't trying to sound smart, it was just when I was trying to increase my intellect because people just went out of their fucking way to make me feel stupid. And so when I would say words like, say, advantageous, When I would say that word, I would literally have these white people just, not white people, but this one white guy for sure. They would just go out of their way to be like, uh, oh, wow, Trey can can say a, uh, he can say a three-syllable word or he can say a four-syllable word. It's like, dude, we grew up together. Why are you acting like we go to different education classes? Just because your parents teach you more doesn't make you better than me. But I I, I didn't know how to defend myself back then. 
I just took it, you know. Now, once I got to my senior year, I was willing to fight anybody. You know, I was really trying to be that. I was over it, and that hip-hop gave me that inspiration to just not be a pushover, and I wasn't. By the time I got to my senior year, I know nobody was going to push me around. And dang sure, you know, by the time I got to college. Now, when I got to college, I did let some people, um, maybe not bully me around, but I let people treat me like, because I was, you know, I was a smart kid in college. I was in honors college. And some people wanted to treat me kind of like, uh, like I was, I don't want to say like a geek, but like I was weak, you know, like I was some dude to fool with. And I was not, I was one of the strongest people in my school at that time, as far as powerlifting went. I was definitely one of the strongest people in my school. So it was kind of like, what are, we, what are we talking about? And I wasn't healthy. Don't get me wrong. I was losing weight, but I was still pretty fat. But nonetheless, it's like hip hop gives people power. It gives people that feeling of, yes, I'm, I'm not just a loser. You talk slick. I'm going to pull out the AK, you know. Like I said, it may not matter in places that aren't in poverty because it's less likely that they're going to go shoot up the place. It could happen. But if you're living in the hood or you're living in a poverty area, of course, it's going to affect those people more because they really feel like they have nothing else going on. You, you don't have money to do anything. Everybody, you know, everywhere you go, there's gang banging. Every, everywhere you go, you want to feel like that dog. You might have gotten jumped before. You might have gotten beat up at the school. Of course, you, the music is going to resonate with you because you'd be like, I'm so tired of that dude. If I see him, I'm going to pop him because I'm that dude. I'm using dude when I could be using another word, but I'm that dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm him. And so toting that gun and having them bullets and seeing it hit somebody and taking you, you like some people, there's two types of people, man. There's people who really take pride in taking people's lives. Like that's how you get some people, you get some men and women who are so violent talking. You get women who are violent towards their husband. You get husbands that are violent towards their wives. You get all these people who are just so violent. And you see people sometimes get on the internet and talk like crazy, like we would see, and you know, they're cursing and all this kind of stuff because they want to feel so big and bad. And it's so crazy because at the end of the day, to be honest, a bullet can kill every one of us. In fact, we don't even have to be killed by a bullet. We can be killed by a car, a heart attack, um, wrong place, wrong time. You know, just a lot of things can kill us off. We're not as powerful. No matter how powerful you think you is because you got a machine gun or you think you got a Glock 9 and you could take one person's life, you're not the most powerful because it's only going to take one person to get the same gun and come shoot you. It's going to take one person to come take you out and then your, your power all gone. So living this life of thinking that we have all this power is just a ridiculous notion because we're all so small. We really are. Like, even, you know, if you find somebody in the UFC who's a great fighter, or let's say I find we go talk to a basketball player who's 6'9", you know, 250. Of course, they're big and powerful physically, but to the world, one bullet, it's over. One crack to the head with a bat, it's over. One, one wrong thing goes wrong in that person's body, and they could be crippled the rest of their life. We are all so weak. That's why, for me, you know... <sighs> This this hip hop it just ain't that for me anymore, you know. I'm not gonna lie to you. This sometimes I want to listen to it. Of course I do. I grew up with hip hop. It's not something I can just drop. Y'all see me freestyle. It's a part of my life. But at the same time, like I realized that it, it 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 just doesn't make me feel as powerful as it once did. And to be honest, if y'all made it this far, now we can talk about some other stuff right quick. Being weak is why we serve a strong God, you know, God to me is all powerful. So me, I'm just a regular dude that can die at any moment. If I don't take care of my body, right. If I don't do the right things or, if, you know, some person just decides they want to be crazy one day and just, I'm dead. You know, it happens in the mass shootings and stuff like that. It just one person, wrong place, wrong time. And you're gone, you know? So I just don't want to live my life thinking I'm more powerful than anybody. I don't care how, I'll never get followers like that. I'll never have millions of followers. I'll never have even 100,000 followers. I'll probably never even have 50,000 followers. But even if I had all that, I'll never try to treat myself like, oh, I'm this big guy now because I can get brand deals and stuff. No. All that stuff is nice. Don't get me wrong. It is nice to have brand deals. It's nice to make money off something you like to do. Um, but that's probably not going to be my life. And even if it was, let's say it was, and I made money off this stream and stuff like that. 
dude, at the end of the day, that stuff not really going to matter. I'll have fun with it and I'll try to improve other people's lives. But at the end of the day, I don't care because I know when I die, there's only one thing that's going to matter. Did I live my life for God? If I didn't do that, then all the money and all the stuff I could have spent is dead. All this, all this fame and all that ain't going to matter. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to matter. That's why every day I try to live my life when I'm not on this camera. I'm not talking about on this. When I'm off camera, man, I fight, guys. I really fight, okay? I fight with my addictions. I fight with everything. Yeah, I, I, It's hard. These demons be on me. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, you know, every day I try to live my life just a little bit better for God. Even if I slip up or mess up, I still try. That's the main point. It's not about failing. It's about getting up again. I know that sounds so stupid and cliche because it is, but it's really true. Every day, because there's people out here who may be an addict and alcoholic and they slip up and have a drink. That doesn't mean go bonkers and drink, drink, drink yourself to death. And Or if you have a quick shot and you realize what you're doing and you're like, oh, I can't do that. Then, yes, you pick yourself back up. And you go, OK, tomorrow's a new day. If I get another chance, if you go home and masturbate when you've been trying not to masturbate and you slip up. Yeah. You pick yourself up and do it again. If you're a person who smokes cigarettes and you're trying to give up cigarettes and you have a slip up, you smoke that one cigarette out of habit, you pick yourself back up. That is how people break curses and family curses and generational curses. And that's how they break addictions. They don't do it one day. They don't do it one day. And that you didn't become an addict in one day. You, it's not easy to just break that pattern. But there does come a day when somebody's no longer an addict. Some people, it happens sooner. Some people, it takes a tragedy. But it takes time to keep getting back up and keep getting back up and keep getting back up and keep getting back up. I know you feel weak. Don't let this hip hop stuff make you feel like you're strong. OK, it's all uh, it's it's only entertainment. OK, that's all it is, man. They do this for the they do this for the money. OK, because mainstream media is going to play it. And that's because we like it because we all feel weak. Don't don't find your power. In hip hop, find your power in God, man. That's where it truly lies. I hope y'all had a uh, YouTube piece.